the internet, Mogwai here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. Look at that. Look at that pronunciation. 10 out of 10, pat on the back. There we go. Uh, in case you're new, you're probably very confused. I, I do tend to like speed through that portion of the intro, and today I kind of like wanted to focus on vocalizing a little bit better, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and say I succeeded. L let me know what you think in the comments down below. Very important. Uh, <laughs> topic of conversation obviously so today we are going to feature yet another new deck ladies and gentlemen this is a concept that i was very eager to dive into and the concept is very simple it's taking yasuo out of the noxus shell and trying him with targon instead because there is a new champion that stuns ladies and gentlemen and it is leona in a deck called it's a stunning day hilarious i know you're welcome. Leona is a 4 mana champion, 3-5 stat line that says Daybreak, stun the strongest enemy. If you've activated Daybreak 4 or more times, you get to level her up into Leona Bay. And Leona Bay here uh, has an effect that triggers every time you trigger Daybreak. So it goes from her entry effect with Daybreak onto anything that triggers Daybreak, uh, triggering her ability to stun the strongest enemy. Naturally, this synergizes really well with the likes of Yasuo. Yasuo is the stun champion in Legends of Runeterra. So Yasuo, whenever you stun or recall an enemy, you deal two damage to it. If you stun or recall five or more units, you level up. And once you're leveled up, you get to strike whatever unit you stun, which, you know, normally, unless it's a very thick unit, means that Yasuo will eliminate whatever stun, uh, whatever unit you stun from the opponent. And we got some cool sword animations in the process of that happening, which make Yasuo the number one champion for 12-year-old edgy fanboys, right? We know this is a thing in League of Legends, and why not? It's also a thing in Runeterra. The difference between League of Legends and Runeterra, though, is that in Runeterra, Yasuo is more of an underdog sort of champion. Yes, if you're new to the card game, that may be a little bit shocking, but that is actually the truth. Yasuo is more of an edgy pick, an actual edgy pick, you know, not just like I'm 14 and I like samurais and I think I'm cool pick, you know, no, it's actually, you know, an underrated champion. It is a champion that I very much enjoy playing. In fact, it is my second favorite champion in the game. We'll see if things change up in my uh, champion favorite tier listings after this uh, expansion <laughs> settles in. But uh, Yasuo is something that I, I it's a champion that I really, really enjoy playing with. Uh, I love Yasuo with Noxus, and I was very excited to try him out in a different region. Now, Yasuo serves a bit of a different purpose in this deck. While in the original Yasuo Noxus build that I used to reach Master's rank with last season, uh, in that deck, Yasuo is the protagonist. Yasuo is the main win condition, right? The entire deck kind of like revolves around him. In this particular case, though, Yasuo kind of like takes the bench a little bit, you know? Uh, he actually supports Leona and serves as a support role. Uh, and what I mean by that is that uh, the main focus of this deck is Daybreak synergies, uh, developing a solid Daybreak curve and uh, focusing on the Leona level up above anything else, and then incorporating Yasuo onto the mix to capitalize on the multiple stun effects from Leona to start wiping out the opponent's board. That was the concept designing this deck. Having played it for like over four hours in yesterday's stream, I can say that uh, it is a solid competitive list. You can definitely play this deck if you enjoy the idea of the archetype, but it is not a tier one competitive deck. Uh, obviously, like whenever a new expansion comes out and I build new decks, I never expect to hit like the tier one deck immediately <laughs> right like it, it takes time people are trying all sorts of different things and this is something that i really just wanted to do out of out of heart more than anything right because I, I love playing yasu so much one of the uh downsides that i've seen for this archetype is that it's a little bit rigid and what i mean by that is that daybreak it's it's, it's strong right it's a strong mechanic but it's not particularly convoluted <laughs> Right, it's just play your daybreak unit at the beginning of each turn on curve if possible and profit, right? And that's basically what we're doing here. This deck is very straightforward in that sense. We are going to attempt to develop a board as big and spread out a board as possible with Leona and hopefully Yasuo in the mix. So if we are going to be risking the, you know, uh, you know, the, the board, I, I, was, I was searching for a word there, but if we're gonna be risking the integrity, there we go, of the board state with an attack, we choose not to attack. We, we be patient, we keep building up, 
And then when we have certain components, we start going off and we just overwhelm the opponent with value, right? So with our Daybreak units, we got the Solari Soldier, we got the Solari Shield Bearer, then we got the Solari Priestess, very important card I'll be mentioning in a bit uh, as well, because you actually want to keep her alive, and I'll explain why in a bit. And then into Leona, and of course, uh, the one of the most key cards in the Daybreak archetype, and that is Raven, the Daylight Spear, because Raven makes it so that it's always day for us, which means that Daybreak will trigger all the time not just the first play in each uh, in each round, right? So Raven can be very, very important to set up some very nasty stun effects with Leona with Yasuo picking off them stunned fools, I guess. So it's sort of sort of round, like it usually does. So this deck has uh, quite a bit of, quite a few incorporated stun cards to promote Yasuo synergy a little bit. Even though he's serving a support role, we want to make sure that Yasuo can put in the work if we don't find Leona in a match. So we are running a full set of Steel Tempest, very, very cheap uh, defensive stun effect. We're running a full set of Concussive Palm as well. And we're running a full set of Yone the Wind Chaser. And we also have another card that benefits from stun effects, and that is the Fae Blade Twirler as our other two drop of choice. Fae Blade Twirler actually puts in the massive work in this deck because we are running a full set of Zenith Blade. And Zenith Blade, I don't know how to pronounce that, honestly, grants an ally plus one, plus two, and look at that, Overwhelm grants, which means that we can get Fae Blade Twirler to five health, which makes her really difficult to remove. And then every time we stack up a stun, her attack goes up, and Fae Blade Twirler with Overwhelm is a very scary thing. In fact, Zenith Blade is one of the ways that we can quite simply overwhelm the opponent in a bit of a stalemate situation, right? Because we're focused on building up our board and we're not interacting with our opponent much at first until we develop Yasuo, so they get to develop their board as well. And we may be in a situation in which they have like six units on the board as well, and they can easily block all of our attackers. But Zenith Blade makes it so that we have Overwhelm, and then we can uh, threaten some serious damage onto the board, especially if we rack up enough stuns. Fae Blade Twirler, uh, her attack, once it starts going up, it goes up fast. It, it really does. So giving her a Overwhelm could just be absolutely backbreaking for the opponent, and I really like her in the deck because of that. So uh, the main finisher in this build is Morning Light. Morning Light gives allies plus two, plus two this round, and then if the Daybreak Clause is met, you activate all ally Daybreak effects as once. What does this mean exactly? This means that Leona will trigger, or rather leveled up Leona, will stun two units after a Morning Light. One that will trigger... Uh, that she will trigger herself because you're triggering a, uh, the daybreak of morning light and the other one because morning light will be triggering her daybreak again but because morning light is triggering all daybreak effects at once you're not going to be able to trigger uh every single like all the daybreak effects are considered one with this effect because at first when i saw morning light i thought that with leona leveled up on the board you would get to stun for every daybreak trigger that you you know, uh, trigger with Morning Light, and that's not the case, unfortunately. Still, really strong finisher, and the main reason why we want to keep the like of Solari Priestess alive. Because if we have Solari Priestess alive on the board, and the likes of Raven as well, Morning Light will actually translate into card draw, which is really important in case we don't have the opponent, uh, we, if we don't get lethal, we want to make sure that we don't run out of gas by going for a uh, AoE buff effect like this, right? So that's generally the idea. We have Bastion as a two of alongside the knife to uh, allow us to protect uh, our Leona and Yasuo mainly. Like these two are very important to keep around, especially Leona. So having uh, protection against single target removal is very, very key. And yeah, man, it's a very fun deck. Uh, if, you're, if you like playing mid-race decks and you like playing good units on curve, then this is definitely the deck for you. And hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay that I got today. Like it's more like... It's it's definitely a Leona deck, but Yasuo puts in the work in a lot of matchups, and I, I really like this concept. It's definitely something that I want to try out. Uh, that I want to try out. Uh, definitely need like it did not exceed my expectations. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, I don't think this will be a tier one competitive deck, but it is fun. It, it's got some uh, punch in it, and you can definitely expect Leona to be a very prevalent force in this meta. She's really strong, and she's also very beginner friendly as well which I think is a very important uh, trait for certain uh, champions to have. So without further ado, I'm going to stop talking. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. I do upload a new deck every single day. This time I did say the single. I mean, some of you mentioned that yesterday. But made it out to be a big deal, so I, I'll, I'll correct myself. And yeah, have a good one. Enjoy the matches. I'll see you tomorrow.
drop this. Keeping the deny is important. I don't know about the Fey Blade Twirler though. I think I I, I want to like mulligan away everything that's not like I, I want to try to like level up, but maybe I should have kept it. You don't like Sunburst in his deck? Um, I I could change my mind around Sunburst. Ooh, these draws are terrible. Eesh. Oh come on, man. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. All right. Like oh, I can't punish that. Oh, that feels bad, dude. What the hell? All right, Yasuo. Sleep is for the guiltless. In you, I trust. The War Mother will unite us all. Favorite deck of the new expansion so far. Also very excited for the new surge of decks to appear over the coming weeks. I don't have a favorite deck right now. There's a cute there's quite a few that I like, but this is one of my favorites for sure. But it's also because it's brand new, but it's 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 very fun. But I'm I'm pretty sure like there are other options that are, I also find really attractive. I can use this to eliminate this. I think I'll do this. I'm gonna be a little bit proactive. Now who's got the upper Just because I, I need to I need to start like making use of my mana. First light illuminates the moon. Bask in the light's radiance. Underestimate. I dare you. The trolls are going to war! Maybe that was a misplay. I mean, I have Raven into Steel Tempest into Bastion protection. So I should be fine. I'm gonna make a U sickle! <laughs> God damn it, Mogwai, the one time I'm not lighting here and staring on your front page since 2 p.m. You start at 2 p.m. At this point, I'm sure you're doing this on purpose, XD. All part of the plan. Now, who's got the upper hand? I'm gonna go for the Steel Tempest there. I had the counter, man. They're out there. I'll spot them. Maybe I should not have it. I don't know, man. It's tough. Stand and defend. Let's go with this. Unmistakable. 
not sure that was the right play, to be honest. Regeneration definitely goes a long way here. Nothing escapes my watch. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Glorious light rains down. Let's drop you, let's drop you, let's drop the Concussive Palm as well. Let's keep the Solari Priestess. It's a solid turn 3 play to go for. Um, I can't really say anything because even though I've been, I, I streamed there like for 8 hours yesterday, I, I, I feel like I barely learned anything yet. <laughs> like, I, I need more time, man. The expansion is great. But that's basically all I'm going to say. The expansion is great. End of story. Like, I, I, I need to try out this stuff. I'm really liking Leona Yasuo. That's good synergy. Spilled paint is just accidental art. Okay, that's kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna take the golden sister just because he has lifesteal and we may need that later than the line. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. I ship him. No more lies. Believe or burn. Heretic. Believe or burn. Our light grows brighter. As the moon rises, 
Resist. Quiet reflection begins. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the Solari will unite Bask the heavens! Bask in the light's radiance! My faith protects me! All unbelievers will see the light. They will not outrun us. The moon approaches her zenith. May her silver light enshroud us. Night descends! Wherever I go, you are never far behind. When night falls, I know that you are with me. The sun's splendor reveals! Blessed day surrounds you. Back, unbeliever! The guilty will burn. Back, heretic. Ever vigilant. Cloaked in silver light. Right. Too many bastions. The problem is th this thing, this could kill me. This could very easily kill me. I just don't have the mana to do all these things. Strike while the planets align. The light of my star warms the heavens. I have to play this. Daylight is unrelenting. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. One blade, one purpose. I rise. Try to leave a dent. Hide no longer. If he has a plus two, plus one, I still, I still deal with that. Okay. Don't leave. Okay. That 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 life steal was was vital. That's why I picked this up because I I, I knew the life steal would be really really important. Even though I sacrificed like daybreak. He's running out of gas though. We, we healed uh, quite a bit, so we're we're in a pretty nice position now. These uh, bastions, I feel, are, I mean, they may end up finding purpose, but having two of them in hand feels a little bit excessive. The mountain knows me. We definitely we definitely take a big hit whenever we uh. Sunlight guided my brother. Clad in shining sunlight. Behold the divine power of the sun! Come into the daylight, Diana. It was the Solari. They tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me! No burst?
you never did believe me. Wanna play unit? Knock out those two last defenders. I was thinking about targeting Diana, but I think I can force a very nasty block here. Like we're we're already like we're threatening lethal by quite a bit. How is it going, man? I'm out of the loop of the new expansion. Is Aurelian good fun? I don't know how good. Have a great day. I don't know how good Aurelian is, but he's really, really. He's really nutty. He's really fun for sure. All right, so two blockers. He survives his turn, but he runs low. What would you from my stars? That guides all travelers onward. So he has to block the two, like Yasuo, and now. Okay. Surprise! He damages you. Okay. Oh no! I I'm actually not surprised. Yet. It makes sense. Okay, we got concussive palm. That's huge. Wow. Well, remember about Bastion not being useful? I lied. <laughs> My what? Why? Why does it disappear like that? You give me a heart attack, dude. What the hell? Right? Turn to the sky. Answer to me. Will be written in the heavens. Put decks instead of overview in chat. Again, I, I I don't understand what you're saying. Uh Ezreal, Twisted Fate. Alright, we definitely want the deny. We want the Solari as well. Let's drop these two. Play into a make it rain here. Stole the Russian, shackle the prisoners. My faith protects me. Mm -hmm. Prevent it from attacking there. I could drop the Solari Soldier. I'm not too happy about trading these though. He's got me blocked a little bit here. I think I can hold on to the Solari Soldier for now. I'm gonna pass.
can wait one more turn before I set up Yasuo. To have Yone back up, so I'm gonna do this. What once was two, now is one. Sure, probably play the Solari just to have an extra body on the board. But we do, uh... We do slow down his attack there. Daylight, everlasting! Solari control all that I want to touch us. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. I'll burn for all I've done. Punish transgressions. Devotion to battle. Devotion to battle. It is time. Say your farewells. Get barnacle. I don't want to offer him like great trades, like but I do want to start clearing out his board. He does have Riptide Rex here, which is likely. Let's do this. We may as well stop it. I go where the road takes me. I'm using the morning sun to, to draw a card. The enemies of day will fall. What would you ask of a man with nothing? To die with honor. Right. 
Horizon. Buy me a flaming load. Clear off. Fall, heretic. You got legs. Use them. I want to keep this in my hand just because I want to have first of all I need the space for progressive palm anyways and I won't if I if I draw into Leona then I could potentially set something up but uh time for a true display of skill I don't miss in her radiant blessing. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. He got us. With the nabs. On. We, we were close, but um, we, we didn't draw into... Neither Leona nor Solari Priestess. Like, it would have been nice to draw into more sources of... Like, we didn't get enough value to the Morning Light. Morning Light with Raven is really good, but you generally want to have, like, Raven plus a Priestess on the board. I know. There are priorities, and I assume this won't be high on the Yeah, list yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get to Lulu eventually. I'll get to Lulu eventually. Looking forward to you giving Lulu and or Squirrel some love. Love I will. your content. Less all right, than three. All right, all right. You don't need to make the message so long, though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll look into it. Okay, so let me drop these. I mean, because the pulp can be good, but I'm, I'm gonna drop these three. Yeah, I think I, I, I may have to cut down Yone down to two. I think I, I think three Yone is too much. That's one of the first in the That's one of the first things that I'm seeing. Like my curve is a little bit. Surprisingly, it's a little bit too high. I think I think Yo I think having a full set of Yone is actually uh, one of the problems here. Raise your weapon, Sunwind. Oh, better late than never. Ours is the one true light. Punish transgressions. No mercy for heretics. I, I I need to like I need to focus and play better. But also I also need to start optimizing this deck a little bit. That's a bit weird. The 
dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. The sun's splendor reveals. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. Feel the sun's glory. A shield for allies, a sword for enemies. Vi stands for violence. My flutter friends are so pretty. I don't need a plan. Trouble coming at ya! Stand and fight! The guilty were bad. Yeah, it's too much mana over me. I I don't want to lunge in and attack here. Like I said, we, we gotta develop our board. We have deny back up. We just we gotta be smart about it. But Vi Vi into the Giddy Sparkyologist is actually a very neat combo. Like I I like that quite a bit. Okay, so now I do want to set you up. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Because this can really snowball. Here's the fun part. Freeze. So I have this. Okay, so I have the, I have, the, I have mana to play the knight, steel tempest, and zenith blade. Asedio! Asedio! Underestimate. I dare you. Okay, didn't get the allegiance boost. All right, five cards left. We gotta play it safe. We gotta keep this deny open. Yeah, definitely dropping Yone down to two. I already have an idea of like what what I, what changes I have to make to make this a little bit better. Yone can allow me to clear two of these. You have taken the dark path. You never did believe me. Now we've got the upper hand. Here's our chance. I will follow this path until the end. Ah, nice. Underestimate. I dare you. Enforcer down. Here's our chance. Everlasting. That's pretty good. Pick on someone your own speed. Answer to me. 
<laughs> Redemption! Our deeds will be written in the heavens. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna keep the Bastion. I'm gonna drop the Shadow Assassins. I already have the Solari Priestess, and I'm gonna keep the rest in his hand. I think I want to keep the Bastion open here. I want to make use of the Solari. Like, right now, dropping this just, just to Daybreak doesn't sit well with me. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Devotion through battle. Let me take Obliterate. I think, I think this is my deck. Yeah, I think this is my deck. So we know he's playing Bastion. I want to take the uh, uh, the Falling what Comet. Bedrasite, protect me. Sleep is for the guiltless. Attack here. Search that. What a stunning day, right? Here. So, because his hand is full, he doesn't get to draw a card off of the mage. That's why I don't know how I feel about Vengeance right now, especially in the early stages of, of the meta now, which most people are going to be playing. Uh, I'm going to spread out. Jedge already three months of Twitch Prime Mogwai, Hi Mogwai, Wake Mogwai, Lux Votie. Axie, I think it was three months, buddy. Thank you, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this. My spirit shines. Try me. Just leave me alone. You only need to save Yasuo here. Yeah, he ran into one of the problems with the deck. He didn't draw Thresh. Okay.
us now! We'll follow you to the edge of daybreak! We each died, then found hope. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the Solari will unite to the shine sun. like the sun, you must burn like it! <laughs> Glorious light rains down! Underestimate. I dare you. Okay, that's more like it. My light shines. It is time. Asedio! Asedio! I'm gonna take Ridden Stars. This morning light will allow me to draw two cards. That's quite enough. Right. I can break the spell shield. Have a taste of your own medicine, buddy! Take a comet to the face. I'll take the comet. He could have another hush, but if he if he has another hush, then he has to. He may have to commit six mana, which leaves him wide open for an attack. So th th this morning light is actually really really powerful. It's my go-to play here. And you guys, you guys may think, well, Miguel, what about ruination? See, the thing is, I believe this man is playing an exact copy of my deck. And I'm not playing Ruination. <laughs> we rise. Falling star. to go in. Back heretic. Witness divinity. One step closer to redemption. At Megamogwai, hey Mog. <laughs> 